Hey everyone, thank you for clicking on the video. We've got another amazing home that we're gonna be touring here today. I was trying to get a good shot from that angle. Let's step right around the other side of this tree right here. Look at this, this house is called the Naples. This is a beautiful, smaller home manufactured by Winston Home Builders. We are at Regional Homes of Punta Gorda and they have an amazing lot. You can see just a few of the houses as we walk down here, I'm gonna show you. I love the siding they went with on this house. Let's get a close up of that. Very nice. You got the same color siding with the windows. You even got the same color on your fascia. We've got a metal roof and then even like our beams and stuff. We'll get a closer look when we walk, walk around there. We've got this side door right here, plus the door right there on the porch. We've got an electrical outlet there. Got a water faucet, nice window there. But yeah, here's a good little shot at some more of the houses. They go, there's more that continue on over there, but the beautiful light. I just feel like, you know, the Belosi show that I went to not long ago, I feel like I'm there, you know, except this is a dealership. All the houses are set up, staged wonderfully. I highly recommend if y'all are around this area to check them out. Check them out, come see them. Hey, if you do come see them, tell them that you watch the videos. Really, that really helps me out a lot. You tell, when you tell people that, when you go to their dealerships. Okay. As we come back around this side, as you can see, we got several more windows. Now these windows right here are gonna be really tall windows. We've got us another uh, water faucet and electrical outlet right here. All right, let's go ahead and make our way in. Let's step up on this porch. Now y'all do me a favor and drop a like if you will, and please share this video and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy these types of tours. Oh man, yeah, let me give you a closer look at the beams. And then our rails there. I like the black railing. It goes very well with this house. We've got an electrical outlet there and then this porch is nice. Got a very nice, I remember seeing this ceiling fan on the Dallas y'all that I did. If y'all remember seeing that tour. And it was like, man, that sucker was whipping. Uh, but yeah, wind's blowing this one a little bit. It's not on though. All right. I've even noticed here, even on their porches, they have some nice outdoor furniture. There's one house right over there that, oh my gosh, it's got a lot of outdoor furniture on it. It looks beautiful. Here we go. Let's make our way inside and check out what we got going on. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Maybe this tour is gonna make it just a little better. Here we go. Now this is going to be a smaller house as you can tell, but it's going to be very, very nice, very high end, everything. Oh, I love that. We're going to get a closer look at that. But what I was saying about like the outdoor furniture stuff, it just really gives you that, um, you kind of, you kind of see what that would look like if you, you know, if it was your house and you had the furniture out there. I like that a lot. Yeah, we gotta get over here and look at this. I love how they use this space right here. You've got this nice sitting area and then you got your table here. I think that's brilliant. With a capital B. Miss Deborah lives down here, around here. She was telling me it was gonna be hot. Well, I'm telling you, she was correct. Goodness gracious, it's warm out here. <laughs> All right, let's step into the kitchen. Or the, okay, let's just look into the kitchen. Let's check out these Whirlpool appliances. At least the refrigerator here. I'm gonna give you an inside look at those. Give you an inside look at a cabinet. Oh, soft clothes. Yeah, Winston's gonna have the soft clothes cabinets.
This is the third different countertop I've seen here today uh, with the rolled edges. I've seen more than that, but all I've seen at least three different ones with these rolled edges that Winston puts out now. I've seen another one that's like a little bit, it doesn't really have the grays in it, and then I've seen like a brown, darker one. I like that our cabinets go to the ceiling, and then they have this beautiful trim or crown molding, whatever you want to call it, around them, and then it's going to continue on around the house. You got the stainless steel sink with two different bays, the Springer faucet. Y'all know how that works. You got your hot, your cold. I mean, y'all y'all know. I mean, I'll explain. Oh, enough of that. I just noticed this backsplash. I was looking at the countertops. Got some drawers on this side of your stove. We got a cabinet and a drawer here. So if you come right here, you can tell we got plenty of walkthrough room right here in the kitchen. Plenty of space. But you can tell they come this way because our laundry room is right there. It's going to be a good size house for, uh, you know, 490. Let me give you a shot of this. 495 square foot. I think technically a tiny house is like 400 square foot. So we're right there close to that. Yeah, but most time you don't see much of a laundry spot at all in in these tiny homes. Because I mean, you're trying to save as much space as possible. But I mean, if you're going to live in a house like this, especially permanently, or you know, for your primary residence, uh, you got to have a good laundry spot. I mean water heater behind there this is that side door we looked at and then look now you will still have stackable appliances here but at least you have a lot of room you've got these cabinets where you can store linens or whatever i mean you can also use that for you know to store clothes as well Now we're going to step back here and check out our bed and bath. That's beautiful. They did a great job at staging this house, but you know, this right here is not staging. I mean, this is actually comes in this house. So they did a great job just kind of customizing or building it out that way. I think that's, that's, if you think about it, that's a space that you technically when nothing would be there and it would be just kind of wasted. Well, they took it, incorporated some cabinets. I'm a big fan of that. What do y'all think? Y'all be sure to drop a comment now. Y'all be sure to drop, hey! <laughs> oh my gosh, we got a towel shower in this bathroom. Hadn't even, I hadn't even told y'all. Oh. Okay fourth different countertop that I've seen here today already with the roll tops. I did say I seen a darker one, but it wasn't that one. I like this. You can keep this door shut if you want to. We've got our closet back here. And we don't have any wire racks. We have the beautiful big brown racks that you're gonna, that's pretty much all I've seen here today in all of their homes. Any of the Winston homes that is. And same thing with a, typically a lot of tiny houses that I tour, the closets, I mean, they can just be very, very small. Which makes me think, y'all should check out the tiny house playlist. I know this is a little bit above a tiny house, but I'm probably going to add it to that playlist as well. Oh, we're going to wrap things up with a shower. Hey, I want to tell you though, stick around after this. We'll get into a lot of information. Oh, let me slide under here. Hey, how are you? This is a darker towel as well. Looks really good. Uh, matches those countertops very well. I 
Let's step back here. Let's see if we got a good shot of everything. Okay. I think we have. All right, yeah, we're finna hop behind the, I'll hop in my office behind the camera, give y'all a lot of information. Stay tuned for that. But before we hop into that, uh, let's hop. We're doing a lot of hopping, ain't we? Hey, hop over and hit that like button. <laughs> and don't forget to uh, share the video and subscribe if you will. Thank you. So let's go over some information on this tiny house. Y'all let me know. I mean, I consider it a tiny house, 490 square. 95 square foot, I mean, wouldn't you consider it a tiny? It is the Naples. It's a 14 by 50, one bedroom, one bath. You can actually go to Winston Home Builders website if you want. They have some other uh, models as well. And uh, yeah, that you can see that they have a little bit bigger. And then, uh, yeah, just, you can check them out online. I'll have some information in the description. We'll have our website link. That's one of the main things there. If you want to uh, get in contact with someone, see about getting financing, pre-approvals, that type of stuff, use our website link. So this was original homes in Puna Gorda. Uh, but what I really wanted to share is Winston, these homes are actually manufactured out of Alabama. They're not very far from where I live. Uh, maybe an hour and a half, it's in Winston County. But anyways, with that being said, they do cover a wide uh, area in pretty much every regional dealership if you have one in your area you can get any of these winston homes we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get into pricing here in just a second but before we do that i do want to let every one of you know that our videos come out tuesday thursday and saturday night um and while i'm thinking about it we do have our second channel second channel link to that's in the description it's collier's home world and i try to put more of the really uh affordable price point stuff on there. So if that's something you're looking for, check that out in the channel. Link is in the description. Not always, but most time like this week, I just had one come out yesterday, uh, a single section house. Uh, I think it's over close to 1200 square foot at a, at a affordable price point. Uh, but yeah, our next video on here is gonna be coming out Thursday night. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, it's not one for the price. <laughs> no. Nah. I don't even know exactly what the price is at the time we're recording this. I do all that after I edit the videos, but uh, it's a two-story modular home. And it's at a location that y'all hadn't got to see that I've been to yet. So come back for that. It will be Thursday night. And I'm not really sure what we're putting out Saturday night yet. I'm shooting it, recording this early, but yeah, definitely Thursday night. I just been editing on it just a little bit. Just started on it. Anyways, it's going to be incredible. I'm serious. Thursday night, 645. Let's get into uh, estimated retail pricing. And so the pricing that I provide in these tours are just what is provided to me. I, my goal is to travel around and show you all the homes that are out there, okay? I'm not necessarily selling them myself, though, okay? Or I'm not selling them at all. But this will give you a good idea. And I do have to say this house being built in Florida there on your coastline, you're looking at um, a different wind zone this home has to be at, and that also won't, makes me want to tell you, brings up the point, you know, if you are, say, where I live in North Mississippi, if you was to get this same home, pricing would be probably a good bit cheaper. Um, and I really don't know. I don't have a quote on what something like that up here would be, but I just want to stress that, uh, that these prices are for that area, so keep that in mind as well. And obviously it all depends on the county, the state fees that you're gonna have in your area, freight charges and stuff along those lines. But this will give you a great idea for at the time of recording. I know this is what you wanna see right here it is. There it is. Let's keep this video short. I'm gonna head out. Y'all come back Thursday night, kick it with me for a little while. Speaking of kicking, this afternoon Cullen's got his first soccer game of the year. We don't have a team name yet, or I'd say the team name, but. I'll try to get y'all a little video. Y'all need to check out my Instagram. Link's in the description. It's Chances Home World on Instagram. I post a lot of stories on stuff we got going on, a lot of the family stuff, so y'all check that out as well. Uh, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you on the next tour.